Tunnel vision, not even paying attention to the chat. You know there's gonna be trolls probably. Alright. What it do, Flight Crow? F T C Flight T stand up! I know, I know, I know. It may be me. But June is on the way. We got the number two ranked Boston Celtics at the number one ranked Miami Heat. Game seven, round three of the 2022 NBA playoffs. Just got back into the crib. Who's playing the Golden State Warriors? You know what I'm saying? From Florida, we, we mess with the Heat. You know what I'm saying? But we're not a fan of none of these teams. You know what I'm saying? The Celtics is cool too. Respectfully, the Warriors will beat both of these teams in five games. So does it honestly matter? Does it honestly matter who the fuck it is? It just depends what jersey color is going to be. The Boston Celtics got Marcus Smith. Poor for the vow. Tatum and Jason, the Williams dude, Pritchett, Brown and Jalen. And the rest are nobody. The Miami Heat got Jimmy waking him at 5 a.m., 40 points per game, Butler. Tucker or PJ? Abdomen. Dr. Seuss. Hero Tyler, Robinson and Duncan, Lowry and Kyle, if I ain't say your name. And the rest are nobodies. Let's check it out. It's time to run one. Woo! Woo! Game seven. Hey, man, this is what you can honestly give the, uh, you know what I'm saying? You guys already know what the damn deal is, man. Best editor on YouTube. Best editor on the planet. Hey, man, I don't care what anybody says. You know what I'm saying? Game seven. Game seven, bro, in any playoffs, bro, is exciting. And nonetheless, bro, we are in the the uh, the, the, the Easter finals. You know what I'm saying? This team, you're going to figure out which team is going to go to the finals. You know what I'm saying? So, best type of competition, tunnel vision are locked in. Let's look at this. Marcus, oh, man. In and out, you guys know I would have made that in my sleep. Brown and Jalen. He just copied my new hero step. I did bro. I just poked bro. It's my hero step. Brown on the break. And Whatever. Scoop off blocks. It's four nothing Boston. For a zip right now. I think he's changing his shoes. Came yeah, it's nine, he what? says I'm fine. I think he just feels more comfortable changing what? into. Well, change you know it's the traffic. I'm about to say the heat. The, the, uh, the heat. Uh, the crowd. And the heat with their first field. You know it's that traffic. That thing needs to be packed out. Everybody, that the, the whole seats need to be filled up. Lowry and Kyle. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Okay, I, finally Tatum plays defense for once, bro. This is his first block of his career. Bro, he's 6'11". He should be averaging five a game of blocks. Finally. Let's look at a pass at the mail. Here's Derek White. He came in for Crosses up Struz, like you said. Goes right at him and scores it. Dr. Seuss, man. He weighs about 110. Pass to Williams, dude. Dr. Seuss. Defense. 16 to 7. Half the mail. So back him down. And gets the reverse on glass. Alright. The second field goal. Doing something. Tatum. Setting five. They're trying to open up the floor. Pass. Oh, what a pass inside by Smart. So easy. And Grant Williams with the easy layup. But the fact that the Heat even got near this part of like the playoffs is just interesting, bro. Oh, and nobody with somebody moving in push-ups. It's like crazy because like at the end of the early 2000s when it was like LeBron, Bosch, and Wade, it's like after that whole era, it's like, bro, you know the Heat. They, we know they're not going to get nowhere near after the first round. And it's just like looking at this team like years later. It's like it's like looking at a simulated squad in like 2K. If you play my career, like you simulate like seven seasons, you just have a whole bunch of like creative players and like draft players and shit. This is crazy. I like it though, because at least it's not like repetitive. This like the same uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, coming in. Round around Lowry. Round. Oh shit! It's 34 to 17. What's going on? 
Miami, you are at home. Butler in the mid range. Raising Butler and Jimmy. And one! Some short hobbled and They need to do something about the score. Now, um, Hero, whatever happens and shit, he has a pass. I know uh, before, actually I told y'all last game, he's playing on like a groin injury or something like that, or had a groin injury, so he missed like two games. That's why we wasn't seeing him in the scoreboard. Tatum? Alright, that crowd is lit in Miami. There you go. It's so an and one! They're gonna count it. Gabe Vincent. They whistled for the foul. <laughs> no, I was gonna say it was lucky coming back, but it's looking worse than right now, bro. Butler and Jimmy? Got it. Boy, like a drill. Shout out to some pressure, please, please, subs and donos. Shout out to CDA Chill with the top five. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, man, I hope you didn't miss anything. Please let me know after the like, reaction if you missed anything. I just happened to look. Butler and Jimmy! Oh! Yo, he did the park celebration shot, yo. He did the park celebration shot. First of all, that was my celebration. Remember when I missed that one shot against uh, uh, Geo Wise? And I did exactly that? Brown to Jalen? And Brown gets it to fall right what? at the end of the shot clock. That's good defense. Bro, that's like, man. And it's a two point game. He did like 18 different like pivots, man. Smart to smart. Y'all making him look too good. He need another center. Look at Adam, man. I'm not even ready. Lost the handle. Oh, the Heat look, he coming back at 60 to 54. Smart. Whoa. Y'all letting him hit that in 2022. Smart. Tatum. Ooh. 65 to 55. The Heat are losing by about 27. At home. About time out the mill. This dude, Ab the Mayo is so mid, bro. Holy shit. Gosh, I don't want that job. Oh, I, don't want, I don't want the job. Nice pass by Tatum to Brown. Seven on the show. Oh, uh, oh, keep forgetting oh. your name and line up. Oh my gosh. Oh, Did you get a block first? Hold on. Before you say something. Tatum to Brown. Seven on the shot clock. Seven on the shot clock. Yeah, I love he might have tipped. Goal depot. I'm like, bro, you got hit near the rim at least, man. You're in the close. You're in the NBA. Wow. That was luck. Brown and Jalen. Nice, heavy move. Stop trying to take charges, Dr. Seuss. Play defense. Damn. They got Smart out here looking like an all-star. Add the mail. The Butler. Jimmy Butler makes it a 12-point Boston lead. Tatum missed the ball. Here's Butler. Butler running a fast break. Oladipo. Whoa! With a little bit of help from Adam 67 to 74? The Celtics fought like two leads in this game. For a tough shot by Darren Brown. Lowry, Kyle, what you got? Have you scored? Lowry pulls the three. Finally! Damn! Boy, big time shot by an NBA champion. Yeah! Right they had to put an NBA champion at the end, bro. You haven't been playing like it. Lowry. The Finally! Oh! And one! A rare miss for him. He's 10 of Brown. 17. Oh, my Brown gosh. That in and out. Damn! Oh, they didn't. I thought I heard a whistle. Right. And again. When he gets to his Lowry and Kyle, what you got? Pass it. That's really easy. Hard to on the two man game in the slam. This is a close game. Kind of. 82 to 75. Vincent with the lob down to Miley. Okay, he got 77. That's just what the doctor ordered. Huh? Dr. Seuss? Dr. Seuss running a fast break? Okay, just going to pass it. Oh, that's a foul. It's like two grown men colliding. Wow. Smart guy. Smart thinks he's nice. Look at the way he's dribbling. Damn. But he lays it home. Tatum? I haven't seen him score in the second half. That was my type of layup right there. 
and it's an eight nothing Boston. Shout out subs and donos. Shout out to uh, uh, Elijah without the J was five get top five get the T. If I miss any, we will turn them out and react. It's ninety to eighty one. Shot clock down to five. For smart. Just gonna back out to Tatum. Hell? Tatum's gonna step back. Oh! Lowry. It's that Come one leg sleep, bro. Bro, I'm ball. wearing. It's not gonna be in the five five that's dropping uh, within the next couple of days. But the next IRL, IRL, I'm wearing. I think the one leg sleep is the answer to, 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 to like. It's my secret right there. They said Butler Jimmy has 35 right now, 93 to 85 in the game seven. Tatum with one second on the shot clock. Oh! Pretty mid defense. Butler. Oh no, he just got shook. He got broke. Damn! Some bro. Lowry. Oh, the depot. Baseline drive. Whoa. Good defense by Williams. Passed it. Lowry over Tatum. Where was this all series? Wow. The heater low key getting smoked. Any scores? By 26. Oh, the depot with the step back. Dr. Seuss! Finally! Tatum with the beat to Williams who got stripped. Lowry. What a steal. Dr. Seuss. Oh, the depot. Oh, deep going traffic, got it. Yeah, it's too easy. 90, uh, 8 to 91. Uh, it's not close, but it's not close at all. It's close, but not close, I mean. They said it's a five-point game. I thought it was about 15, okay. 98 to 93. Old Brown miss. Oh! A foul. Offensive foul. Offensive foul, okay. At the mail, it's 98 to 93. Just need a quick three or something or a two or something. Dr. Seuss. To make it a two. Oh! Hold on. 98 to 96. Slow down. Bow Jimmy just said fucking damn it. Damn it. Oh! Oh! It wasn't a bad shot. Oh, no. Oh. This shit was going on too fast. Oh. Oh. Dr. Seuss, first of all, that was an amazing, bro. We're going to have this out. We hope there's like one of those things where they put like the three last five minute or, uh, of the game. Because this happened too fast. But Dr. Seuss. Oh, he reminds me, bro. He reminds me of like Quentin Richardson and Rashard Lewis back then. I used to get the free heat games when I was, you know, in the early 2000s shit, you know. So, like, but, bro, anyway, this shot. Bro, that was, bro. And they get the ball back. Hold on, hold on, hold the fuck on. Hold on. Damn it, dude. You had 20 seconds now. He was open. It wasn't a smother, smother shot. Mommy has one timeout. I ain't gonna lie. Right off the rip, this is Eric Spolcher's low key. Eric Spolcher, look, this is two of these people's fault. It's Eric Spolcher and Butler and Jimmy. I'm gonna tell bro. Eric Spolcher, as an experienced coach, game seven of the conference finals, you call a timeout right here. He already crossed half court. You call a timeout. Butler and Jimmy is the best player on the team. Hero Tyler is not playing. He's injured. You, you really don't have much options on offense. You don't have experienced players. This is Eric. This is a coaching mistake by Eric Spolcher. You call a timeout right here. What are you doing? Okay. Now second, we're moving on to Butler or Jimmy. It it wasn't a bad shot. This is honestly open, but this is a rush shot with 18 seconds left. Let's say even if you hit that with the Celtics offense. I would never leave them with 15 seconds in any game to score like the final bucket, bro, for the win. This is a rush shot, and this is bad coaching. Eric Spolstra, damn, dude. You fumbled this right here, yo. And Butler and Jimmy. This is both of these dudes. They fumbled this. Well, we really don't even know if it's the end of the game yet. But... Right here, this is, bro, this is bad coaching. And this is, bro, this is just Butler just trying to be too hard to be the hero, bro. Lowry is not down the court. I know Lowry, you know what I'm saying? It's, 
You guys know what's up with Lowry, man. But at least wait for him to get down the court. This dude is your point guard. You didn't even have time to set up a play. The defender in the gym, in the Coming job. off of something like that from Dr. Seuss, too? Struess. To make it a two point. Oh! Hold on, and was there one more player back down the court? Lowry's right there. Abdomen, I was gonna low key like spaz on him, but it looks like smart as. This dude is so dirty, dude. This dude is grabbing him. Because I'm trying to like locate the players. So, I ain't even gonna lie to you, even though it was open, bro, this is a terrible shot looking back at it, bro. You had two people. Dr. Seuss is not getting a rebound over Tatum, respectfully. And Horford's right there in the paint. You know what I'm saying? And you have Brown and Jalen. This is a, this is a, you know what I'm saying? It's a three on three fast break, but you don't have no players to get a rebound, really. We got a foul. We got to see what the free throws is looking like. What was going on right here? Add the mail. Got smart and going at it. All right, smart makes it. He has to make this one right here. It'll make it much different. He still have a timeout, I think, don't they? Wow. Okay. Five seconds. Goodness. I mean, they just need to have it. It's a four-point game anyway. Struis again. Fires the three. Struis again. Butler, you had you put no effort to get open, bro. You gave up. Add the mail. We don't expect you to shoot the ball. <laughs> um. Okay. I mean, I would either want. See, like, right here, like, I've seen Hero played earlier in the game. Why is he on the floor right now? I know he's fighting an injury, but... Mm. I mean, I guess Dr. Seuss, Oladipo, or Butler should be taking a shot, but you would want Butler to be. He's the leader of the team. He put no effort to get open. Fires the three. And that might do it. Wow. Wow. Oh, Wow! Nah, this Heat team need to be disappointed in themselves, bro. Dude, you literally just disrespected the shit out of Florida, bro. At your home stadium? At your home stadium? Game 7? Wow! Wow, man. Man, GG's, man. We're not a fan of none of these teams. Congratulations to the Boston Celtics. They're going to the 2022 NBA Finals to face the Warriors, bro. Which they will lose in uh, five games, respectfully. But, wow, bro. At your home stadium? We need to see this box store, bro. We're definitely going to have to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is your home stadium. Game seven? First, before we look at the box store, is there any clips that we need to look at? Wow. At your home stadium, bro. Oh, no. There had to, there, there had to be at least 15, 20 fights after this. Like, like not, not like the, the, the players. I'm talking about, like, like the, um, the, the people that came to the game. Oh, no, no, no. There definitely had to be, like, it, bro, be safe going home tonight, bro. Wow. There's 20 and 1. We need to see this box. I'm not going to say anything about any player before. We need to see his box door first before I, um Dude, at home? Right, let's go to um these uh, NBA Chaz and Dunk City. Let's see what they got. They clips. All right, so I'm seeing the ceremony. We're going to do the ceremony last because that's usually like the... Uh, Chaz don't got nothing. Let's look at Dunk City. Dr. Seuss 3 taken away. 
Yeah, Dante don't have nothing either like that. All right, so we're just going to casually look at it through the chat. I guess it, it, they're a little late on the uploading. Um, okay, so y'all saying it's just three point. Bro, like, who has, like, some clips? Okay, like, ESPN got some. Horford block the last two. Okay, okay. So y'all saying let's look at that first. If that's up, if that's up, that's clutch. Cause they, I think these guys probably need more time to. Um. So uh, okay, perfect. They have a t the last two forty seven. They have the last two minutes of forty six seconds. That's exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Okay. So we have the last two minutes of forty six seconds of the Eastern Conference Finals. This is better speculation. All the depot missed. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss turned up in a late game. I like that. Definitely leveled up a little bit. So right here, even with under three minutes, the Heat are getting smoked by like 20 plus points. Tatum. Smart. Why did they do them open? That was honestly a lucky Parker miss. The board and, and they got the board. The yeah, see the Heat, they had to honestly just be tired or something, bro. Three. Parker steps into the three. Smart. Like, what is Oladipo doing? It looks like they're playing a 2-3 zone. It's real basketball. No, actually 3-2. It's real basketball knowledge right there. So they're playing a 3-2 zone. This is a terrible defense set. Um... Honestly, we need to question Eric Spolster's defensive calling right here, too, yo. Oladipo is about 6'5". He shouldn't be anywhere near guarding Al Horford or be anywhere near the paint. Adam is fine right there in the corner. This is bad defensive coaching, bro. Like, Oladipo has these 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, He's coming off of an injury, too. Let's not forget that. Guarding Al Horford. This is too... Al Horford's too much of a physical player. This is a this is a bad defense. You you should have just gone man to man. And even if you've gone man to man, and you're alive now, looking at the Heat are undersized. Smart. They literally only have Abdo Mayo. Like he's only like six ten. But he, honestly, I, I don't even think he doesn't he doesn't play like he's six ten. He plays like he's five, maybe seven. Steps into the three. He missed that. Mark it's gonna be a rebound because they're in three two. It's bad defense. For the Celtics. If you're any other Celtic other than Tatum, you gotta be ready to take a big shot off the double team. Oladipo came to double him. Smart with another three. Wow, Smart missed wide open threes. This is honestly bad defense by the Heat, bro. Yeah, this this this. So did they switch to a three two to a two three at the last second? Oladipo came to double him. Yeah, they switched to a two three at the last second. This is what they should have been playing. This makes more sense because they're undersized. You get three players in the paint, so every player that tries to drive, they're gonna automatically get double teamed, or it's gonna be too jammed. Lowry, I'm not going to lie to you, is lazy as hell on defense, bro. There's no reason for... Off the double team. Well, the depot came to double him smart. Like, after he went to three. contest... And this time the Heat finished the possession with the defensive board. And Abayo with the rig and... Add the mail, he rushed that. Out of bounds, Miami. This dude, Add the mail, is... This dude is terrible, bro. Adebayo with the rick and the defensive board. Adebayo with Yo, Rush, bro, I would have made that layup in my sleep, bro. We're not going to sit up here and lie, bro. Come on, dude. Like, you don't even have any coordination when you're, you should be passing the ball. Like, look at your teammates. They're just looking at you like, this is like, bro, this is like one of these dudes, bro, that's just excited to get picked up in LA Fitness 5v5 or something, bro. And just is just thinking he's running the floor. And it's just that one possession where you're trying to catch your breath. And you know what I'm saying? You're just like, okay, you know, let's see what you can do. And you disappoint everybody, bro. And then Lowry, he tried to actually get the rebound there. That's a good effort. Good job helping him up. To see, pardon me. And Doka looks down to see if he's on, man. apt to challenge this. That's out on the heat. Heat will try an inbound. That's out on the heat. Wow. Okay. to play. So they're literally getting chance after chance after chance after chance. Lowry literally, I seen his hand extend. That was out on the heat. Two minutes to play. Oladipo pulling up. Oladipo with the floater. Oh my gosh. Dude. What happened, bro? Like the fact that they even came close to even like 
getting it to overtime is like, like we need to. I can't wait to see the rest of this footage here. Oh. What are you doing? You're throwing up a prayer <laughs> floater over Al Horford, who's about six ten, a physical defender. I wasn't even. What are you doing? First of all, I would have made that in my sleep. Just rushing the offense, bro. Butler is literally calling for the ball. Give it to Butler. This is a mixed match. Mark is smart. Butler's putting them to work. Five, nine times out of ten. I was about to say, actually, let's see five times out of ten. He will put Butler and Mark is smart one on one. He's scoring nine times out of ten. What are you doing, bro? All the people with the floater. I wasn't even close. And Tatum clears the glass. Wasn't even close. Some of these Almost heat seats are like missing. What's going on? What we'll do here for Miami to stay alive. And I like this. No pick and roll. So you're allowed this to play one-on-one. This whole stadium needs to be sold out. Where the help is coming from. Miami loading up in boxes and elbows. Tatum. Tatum with the feed to Williams. Who got this is great defense. defense. That was great defense by Lowry right there. Lowry. That was really great. Three right here. So Oladipo again Oladipo driving to the rack. I don't like that, bro. What are you doing like playing so fast? You need a three. Lowry isn't even down the court. They need a three right here. They need a three right here. The commentator said it. Oladipo in traffic got it. Nah, Oladipo, bro. I don't know what, bro. That dude just. They need a three right here. Oladipo in traffic. Got he had to be doing that to get his points per game average up in the playoffs or something, bro. This just back to back like that. Like Butler literally has just been in the corner with a mix match. Two straight possessions. Right here. Even though he made the oh, shot, this will low-key be a foul. But I don't like that. There needs to be a three right there. Smart. Good defense. It ain't call a foul. He got hit in the face. This is a trap defense. This is a lazy trap defense. Brown. Oladipo. Bad rotation on defense. They got lucky he missed that. Again, this is lazy defense. They might as well play man-to-man -man if they can't get back or play trap defense. That was nice. That was nice. There you go. Okay. So this is right here. What they're, The defense that they're playing right now is the NCAA trap defense. This is a classic defense that you play. Usually played during March Madness or typical tryhard NCAA teams, but usually played in March Madness. Um, but the thing that they're doing wrong, they are too tired. You know what I'm saying? Oladipo and Lowry should have already been at Tatum. They should have already been at Tatum, bro. They should have already been at Tatum. I I guarantee you, if they were so quick to double team, he would have either turned the ball over or he would have been forced to pass it to uh, the Williams dude or Horford, which are two terrible free throw shooters. This is the this is the one you don't want on the free throw line. Him, you don't want on the free throw line. That was a foul. Oh, that's the one where they call an the offensive foul. So once again, another bad defensive possession, and they got lucky, and they called an offensive foul. I ain't gonna lie, what's, what's, what's with the refs? Wow, Dr. Seuss with that. Uh, <laughs> I said lay up. the three pointer. The refs are uh, kind of uh, sketchy, yo. They called an offensive foul on Brian. That was a, a, almost a flagrant one, and then they didn't call out on Lowry earlier. Okay, so they have 30 seconds. They don't have the foul. 98 to 96. Smart is driving. Smart. He missed. Great defense. Three straight possessions of lucky defense. For the lead. Loose and Rushed. Rushed. And we already explained that. It's rushed. You didn't even, you know what I'm saying? You didn't hold your follow through right correctly, too. Rushed. For the lead. Mm, I mean, at this point, do you think that's a three-point foul? For the win. I ain't gonna lie. If the refs want to call those fouls that they was calling, you know what I'm saying, in the highlights, I think this is a foul right here looking back at it. I kind of looked at it the last second. Horford's touching, you know what I'm saying, too much of his hand. He didn't give him enough space to land properly. I mean, even though Butler sold it a little bit with the, um, you know, leaning into it, they might as well have called a foul right here. This is a three point. I, I feel like Butler should have got three uh, free throws right here. This has to be if he's he touched his hand. You've seen foul calls like that. There's no way you can't agree with me right there. But 
<laughs> Butler sold and Eric Spolster sold offensively in the last two possessions and defensively in the last three minutes of the game. Oh, sold. <laughs> Gonna have to foul. They do. Butler had a clean look, Jeff. Uh oh. 79% foul shooter makes the first. Okay. I'm in agreement with you, but hey, and give credit to Smarter Marcus. He made both of these free throws right here. That's the best player. He made both of these free throws right here. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of NBA players in the All Star. Oh, I thought he said it was. My bad, my bad. I thought he said it was the free throw like 17 times. It's like what? And that's what it is. Okay. Four, the Heat have a timeout. Four, no timeouts. And they took that timeout when Kyle Lowry fell to the court earlier. Only had one to go. So let's preview this inbounds play right here. Lowry to inbound. I'm Jalen Brown. I'm staying connected to Scrooge. Who's connecting on that big three of all? didn't even look at the ball. Go. Here he is. They want to give it to Dr. Seuss. Oh, we didn't see this in early highlights. Eric Spolster, you straight up fumbled the offensive coaching, bro. You straight up fumbled the coaching. This is bad play calling at its finest. This is bad play calling. Now, Dr. Seuss, he made the last shot. You give him credit. That's a beautiful shot and a high, you know what I'm saying, like um, pressure game like this. This is a great shot. But Dr. Seuss, Here he is against you are not like this. 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 This is bad offensive play calling by Eric Spolster, man. I'm actually very disappointed, man. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, I honestly give maybe three to five years left of Eric Spolster coaching in the NBA and he might retire, man. This 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 call isn't it. It's either Eric Spolster's fault with this coaching uh play call right here, it's uh Dr. Seuss. And 9.5 times out of 10, it's the play calling from the coach. You know, a player knows, like, they're not going to shoot a shot like that. They wasn't. Got a look. That, was, but that was a bad shot attempt, man. Come on. Come on. That was terrible. This You had all that time. Here he is against. I know you need a quick shot off. Got a look. Front rim. Damn. Oh, he pushed Tatum. And a loose ball foul going to go against. The Celtics. The Celtics. Oh, the Heat had chance after chance after chance after chance. No way. I'm trying to tell y'all. Nah, the rest was at the, the rest at the sketchy. Look at this. Oh, that's so oh, wait. Three a moment ago. When Dr. Seuss puts his shot up. Gotta look. This dude literally threw Tatum to the side, bro. Front rim did. Loose and then they caught a loose ball, ball foul to Celtics. Go the Celtics. Wow, the Heat got a chance. Look at the competitor to Celtics! Yo! He put his hands over his head. He's like, man. You don't mind because they got to take the ball back out of bounds. So that's good execution. And he's still down four. Here's one. They didn't even play it all the way back. Clearly a foul. That was a foul in the Heat. And all the people fell on him. Last time they so that he stretched. got another chance. Pass. Didn't bound again here. Butler didn't look at the ball for the second time in the row. You didn't look at the ball for the second time in the row in the Eastern Conference Finals. Game 7. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Inbound again here. You didn't even look at the ball. <laughs> Dr. Seuss back to back. Okay, we need to look at this box score. They're making it look like Dr. Seuss must have had 50 this game. Because that's why I need to not like say much. He must have had 50 this game the way they're giving him the ball. I thought Butler was the all the only all-star on his heat team. He didn't look at the ball two possessions in a row in a game seven Eastern Conference Finals. Again. <laughs> Fires the three. Two smothered shots in a row by somebody that's a cool casual. He's not a, he's not trash, but he's a cool casual. This isn't him. This isn't his shots. And that might do it. Al with the rebound. Wow, at your home and stadium. The Celtics will go to the NBA Finals. Celtics deserve. Celtics deserve. They fought through bad uh, uh, referees 
from what I'm looking at in the highlights, you know what I'm saying? And um, just just lucky possessions by the Heat. They complete wow. the Meyer victory on Miami's home court. Congratulations to the Celsius. They deserve that. I like looking at stuff like this. The Heat got way too many chances. I don't even feel bad anymore. I ain't gonna lie. They got way too they you legitimately had about like like seven to nine chances. Wow. The Celtics going to their Congratulations to the Celtics. This Horford's first championship too? Alright, let's see if we have any other clips. I'm gonna go back and look at NBA Chaz and uh Uh, uh, Dunk City. Still no, nothing on Chaz. Yeah, there's only one, and that's the, uh, the Butler thing. Okay, yeah, let's look, at, let's look at a ceremony. You said check whispers, real Jersey Drake. Um, okay, so this is the ceremony, but we'll just keep it on the tab here. Okay. Oh, there's something. Bam tears off his jersey in the tunnel after loss. But at the end of the day, they need a little bit more time. Jimmy Butler could not. Yo! The only team in the Yo! NBA got to How the old are you? The conference finals with the lack of talent. This dude's a real man. The way Miami has. Yo! Because of that. Culture. No, this dude didn't just but tear off his jersey, day, bro. They need a little bit more talent. Hmm. Jimmy Butler could not. And Bam could not bring them. Damn, to the Celtics are lucky. Roasted the Heat. You need a little bit more culture, talent. To me. The only team in the NBA. Damn, I've never seen someone rip a jersey off like that. This man made a whole with cape. A he made a Superman cape. Bro. That roster the way nah, mine. down terrible, down terrible. I've been trying to find the uh, the Dr. Seuss. Um, oh, here it is. They just uploaded. Okay. Okay, so after this, we look at the uh, the ceremony. This dude ripped his jersey off from like like thread to thread. Like I've never seen it. Like I seen a cupbo was the closest to it last time. Bro, what quality is this? Was this with a potato? Did uh, Doctor uh, Sue step out? Yes. Okay, that. If it's rape, you know, they say you stepped out of a... Oh my gosh, this quality is 2001. Bro, this is 144p. Did he step out? Yes, this is worse than the KD, uh, uh, the three-point um, thing. He 100% stepped out. Okay, that... If it's rape, you know, they say you stepped out of a... Dude, he stepped out. Hold on, maybe. Ah. Uh... Left. Yeah, it it like kind of tapped it. It kind of tapped it. Yeah, he definitely stepped out. He definitely stepped out. Like it's it's hard to tell. So I'm looking at the description because. So it says that the NBA referees, they took away the three-pointer, so he already made this. This wasn't like why it was on. Let me look at the comments. Somebody said it changed the outcome of the game. Dr. Seuss hits a three, 40 seconds left to bring the game to within two. They overturned it, so originally it was a three. That heel, people saying that heel never touched the ground, he stole three points. Sheesh, I don't know. They need a better angle than that. They first of all need better quality. Somebody in the uh, the chat did make a point. You can see the shadow. I might have to take back what I have to. 
you know, look, because it, it makes sense. A shadow is never going to show unless you're not stepping over it. The shadow of the shoe is still showing. Okay, that... Yeah, bro, I don't, bro. I don't know if, I don't feel like that should have been overturned. If that was, if that was like a situation and he already hit the three and they're going down the floor and they just started to just call a timeout and they just wanted to be like to challenge it, I feel like that's like doing too much. But if that's like initially what they called, it's like 50 50. So hard to see, man. They need a better quality than that. All right, so we look at. Al Horford. I'm gonna get a ceremony. Al Horford. Block. Um. I don't see no footage of Al Horford block. I'm gonna pick today. Oh, here it is. I see it. Monster block. There's Gabe Vincent, one of the great stories this year for Miami in the transformation from strictly a point guard to combo guard. Struce downhill. Oh, close. Brown on the break. Williams. Formation from strictly a point guard to combo guard. Struce downhill. Damn, he saved himself from getting embarrassed too. Brown on the break. Williams with the layup. Great rotation and block shot. That's a great on a Struis drive. Yeah, <laughs> Dr. Struis. Yo, he was hanging on to every part of his arm. Fam. Nah, that is too funny. Someone said the Heat didn't get a single call the whole third quarter. All right, we're going to look at a ceremony and then the box door. Boston Celtics Trophy presentation. Kuzi Trophy awarded to the NBA Eastern Conference champions. And the new Larry Bird Trophy awarded to the Eastern Conference Finals Most Valuable Player. Please welcome ESPN's Lisa Salters. Thank you. The Eastern Conference Champions Trophy was recently named after one of the greatest Celtics of all time, the Houdini of the hardwood, Bob Cousy. Now here to present the trophy to the Boston Celtics, is two-time NBA champion and 1981 Finals MVP, <laughs> Celtics legend, Jenny. Cedric Maxwell. Lisa, first of all, it would be disrespectful if we did not acknowledge Miami. That's a hell of a club over there. They played great. Now, how about them damn Celtics? <laughs> and the Celtics, yeah, I like his energy. I ain't gonna lie. Right now, Never, I just first time I heard of this dude. Just won it, and I'm handing over right I don't know now who this is, is but this dude's Al energy Horford. is crazy. He said, How about the damn Celtics? Wow, the Celtics without KG, without Ray Allen, and without Paul Pierce, without James Posey. We said Garnett already. Who the hell? They had Rondo. These guys made to the finals again, bro. What are, who would have known? You got to get credit for where it's due. How were you able to turn it around? Man, uh, first of all, honor and glory wow. to the Lord. Tatum. For putting us in this position. Um, grinding. We stayed with it. We believed in each other. We made a commitment on the defensive end. That was the biggest thing. Defending, and that was going to be our identity. And that's what's carried us this far. Al, 141 playoff games for you to reach the finals. What has that weight been like? Uh, it's been a great journey. Uh, a lot of battles. Obviously never been able to get it, but had a lot of great teammates along the way. And this group is special. And uh, I'm really happy to be sharing this moment with these guys. Congratulations to you, Al. Sheesh. Congratulations to the Celtics. There's more to this. And now for something really unique. For the first time ever, the NBA... Yeah, where is winning this a five game? We're not even worried. Conference finals I was more worried about the Heat going to the finals, if anything. This trophy is aptly named after one this of the is too easy. I'm even being a little too nice saying five games. This hockey is sweet. Team. The Celtics Larry team has Bird, no experience even being honor, this far. Larry Bird's former teammate, welcome back, Cedric Maxwell. Girl, it is a pleasure to be on top. 
Now, for me to get this MVP trophy out, let me see here. Jason Tatum. Jay Tatum? Jay Tatum? What is this? This is like an MVP trophy? Of the uh, Eastern Conference? Jason, before this series even... Oh, started, that's crazy. That, I, that's why I, I was mad at myself for skipping the... um, Because we were just trying to, like, get through. Like, now for, like, any ceremonies and stuff, bro, we're definitely going to, like, watch. I didn't know that you get MVPs in, like, the Eastern Conference and Western Conference Finals. I think Curry got the uh, the Western MVP. Conference, I believe. This conference for uh, MVP. MVP trophy. Just so many different MVPs. What does this recognition mean to you? Uh, it, it's a great honor. Um, but, you know, this is... Some of our fourth time in the conference finals, my third time. Uh, and, and, and to get over the third time, game, one of the subs uh, in the it, conference it, it, finals. Uh, so I couldn't be proud of, of these guys. The the road that we took. Okay, Tatum, uh, twenty five, you know, eight like rebounds, and six or uh, five, six assists, and uh, it worked out. Why did you decide to wear the Kobe Bryant armband tonight? Uh, game seven. Um, everybody know how much he means to me. You know, my idol and you know my favorite player. W. So, just to have some of the RP Kobe's you know, daughters up. versus passengers. Um, in, the, in the biggest game of you know, my career so far. Oh, he wore that during the game. Yeah, that's hard. Down. Congratulations to you, Jason. Oh, that's hard as heck because, too, if you know, like the Lakers and Celtics have like a huge rivalry, too. I like that. There you go, Tatum. Jason, I asked you how you were feeling coming into this game, and you said just focus. The Celtics made it in 2018 and 2020 to the Eastern Conference Finals. I, never, I didn't even know. All means everything. No, all the he averaged 24 the points. The losses, the wins, everything that we finally got to this moment makes it that much more special. You guys made it interesting down the stretch. What, what was happening? Who is this? I don't know. Is that Tatum's dead? <laughs> hey, but we figured it out. Uh, we persevered. Um, sometimes we like doing it the hard way. I hate that about us. Um, but we got the job done. So now we're looking for future. Audio's cutting out. It's not me. Marcus, come on over here. <laughs> not getting it done, game six. How sweet is it to get it done on the road? It's amazing. Obviously, we would we would like to have got it done in front of our crowd. He had 24 and points in game seven. Nine rebounds and five assists. Leave it all on the court. It's only right. This is amazing. We finally got over. The nah, man, the Heat deserved to lose this game. Just look at that stat that right there, bro. To be denied, that was not what? To let Jimmy Butler or anybody else be true. A dude yeah, with that haircut and hairstyle. Yeah, let, yo. We all talked and said we're going to leave everything we have on this court. Whether we win or lose, we can't leave here tonight saying, I wish I could have done more. And that's what the outcome came when we won this game. Congratulations to you, Marcus. Congratulations to all of you guys. You're going to the finals. Once again, the 2022 Eastern Conference champion, Boston Celtics. Wow. Damn, there's some at the uh, Heat Stadium. Damn, bro, that is so embarrassing, bro. At your home stadium, yo. <laughs> At your home stadium. Yo. All right. Let's look at this box score. Looks like it's going to wrap it up. The Celtics, they're going to the finals. They're going to lose in five games. But you guys are going to the finals. All right, let's do this box score. Who we got a snap on? Setting up time now. Tatum, 26 points, 10 rebounds. Horford for five. Smart with 24. We just seen it. Brown with 24. Jeez, bro, these guys just went off, man. They just wanted it, bro. All right, over to the Heat. Tucker, PJ, 17 minutes in game seven of the Eastern Conference Finals. You are too worried about your sneaker collection, bro. You only played for 17 minutes. Now, I don't know if you're going to get injured, so I'm not going to go too hard a little bit. I don't know why you only played for that long, but you scored zero points. I don't know what happened. Butler or Jimmy, 13 to 24. You gave it all you got, 35 points. But, Butler, you sold. You sold. You should have got your sleep. You've been waking up way too early. I don't know who you thought you was. You were not Michael Jordan. You're not Curry. You're not Tracy McGrady in 2000s. You're not Iverson. You're him, but you're not him, him, man. That wasn't your shot to take that early on in the shot clock like that, man. 
you honestly should have had 40 points, but you had terrible shot selection. And then you also gave up at the end. You didn't even look at the ball the last two possessions. In the Eastern Conference Finals, Game 7, you didn't look at the ball the last two possessions, man. You didn't look at the ball the last two possessions. You could have easily had 40 points, bro. And I honestly on a question, like, how is he getting the free throw line this much, though? Because every time I look, he's getting the free throw line 10 plus times. He got to the free throw line more than any starting player in the Celtics. Add the mail, 46 minutes. Um, we're saying he had 25 points. <laughs> fake stats. This is fake stats. I'm not calling it, bro. Um, he had 11 rebound, double-double, whatever. I'm not buying it, 25 points. He doesn't play like that. He hasn't played like that all series. Um, Lowry of Kyle, 40 minutes. You went to a school, entire school day, 15 points. Ah, it's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. I thought Lowry played worse. Dr. Susie stepped it up towards the end of the game. Honestly, to be fair, stat-wise, it's not even that bad. Like, I, I thought that the way they played the highlights, Lowry put up about five points off like four of 35 shooting. Add the mail, and I hate to say it, maybe your stats ain't so fake. Maybe, I guess. You didn't even go to the free throw line that much, and you missed most of your free throws. And you put up 25 points. Really, the Heat... Starting lineup, other than Tucker PJ, which you don't expect to score more than five points per game. It's due to somebody's uncle. Hero Tyler's injured, so like I said, he, you, you can't go off on him that much. The Heat are facing injuries. I believe Butler's still playing through an injury, too. Really, you they came out and really played fair and what you should have expected and wanted. You know what I'm saying, to play. You had your all-star player who, even though he flopped and sold at the end of the game, he still put up over 20 I'd rather maybe 27. I feel like he should have took 30 shots, which you could have easily took because I felt like maybe even in a hollow state took him out. But you ignored the ball those last two possessions. You should have easily had over 25-plus shots. You know, you had your all-star player put up 30-plus points. You can't really honestly respectfully complain. And then add the mail, he played well over his mid-game level that he's been playing, you know, with 25 uh, points and 11 rebound double-double. They really, honestly, the Heat starting lineup really kind of played fair, good. Like, they didn't really play bad. Um, you know, they're obviously missing Hero with the injury. Um, but they came up short. Congratulations to the Boston Celtics. You guys are going to the NBA Finals. But it will be over in five games. It'll be over in five games. You guys, number one, I will tell you why. You guys are exhausted. You guys don't have enough experience. We have way better talent. Draymond on Tatum all day. Tatum, you're gonna not gonna screw, not gonna score more than 20 points in the finals, man. Amazing Easter Conference Finals, and I give it to you. You definitely leveled up, and I put honestly, even to this point, I'm putting Tatum over KD at this point. Say whatever you want to say, you gotta put Tatum over KD. You know what I'm saying? What the team Tatum has, especially in him being a leader, you put you gotta put him over KD. But you're not going to score over 20 points per game in the finals. Draymond Green is shutting that down. And did you even find out? GP2 is supposed to be coming back in the finals for the Warriors. Game over. This is honestly this hockey might be a sweep. Okay, so let's say Tatum, okay? You got you got Brown and Jalen. No. Stop it. Clay Thompson's on those. GP2's on those because he's coming back. Curry's on those. You know what I'm saying? Um Kamuja, Moody and Moody's. Come on, man. There's so many defensive weapons for the Warriors. Honestly, you're going to have to rely on Smart. He's not going to be scoring over 15 points per game against the Warriors in, in, the, in the finals. In the finals. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be an easy, this is going to be a breeze. Honestly, I'm calling I'm calling two blowout games by the Warriors. One close win by the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? Um, an unfair referee game that makes the Celtics win by like one, two points. And then the fifth game is a blowout, bro. It's not going to be any competition. I'm actually, like, I honestly rather have seen the Heat in the finals. That's the team that I'm, the Heat are honestly like the the the, the Memphis Grizzlies in 2022, 2.0. You know what I'm saying? On the Eastern, on the East uh, Conference side, bro. But, and, hey, man, congratulations nonetheless to the Celtics, man. Enjoy your moment for the next um, 72 hours when you play the Warriors. Because you'll never have that moment again in the next uh, 20 years. That's just me. Coming up on the last track, man. On the road to five.